Here we're going to look at different types of mutations that occur, uh, particularly looking at DNA and the root causes of some of these mutations and how they look on the kind of the level of the chromosome here. We can see here these might be some point mutations here that are occurring. See that these don't all quite look 100% right. We're going to go over a little bit of that. So starting with just a mutation, uh, so gen genetic material can be altered in two main ways. It can be recombined or the true mutation. Uh, a recombination is a change in the positioning of the genetic material. And a mutation is a change in the content of the genetic material. So it's important to understand these two distinctions. The recombination is the positioning, just where they're physically located. And the phys and actual mutation is the content. The nucleotide sequences might be changed. Here we have a change from an A to a C, an adenine to a cytosine, and how that changes our amino acid which can negatively impact a protein that might be made from there. So mutation and recombination provide raw material for evolution. So this is can be beneficial. Evolution can be viewed as a selection of a particular combination of alleles from a pool of alternatives. Mutations in germline tissue can be inherited, and mutations in some somatic tissues are not inherited. So remember, our somatic cells are like our regular body cells. Germ lines would be sperm or egg, cell, egg cells. Uh, somatic tissue mutations can't be passed from one cell to its descendants. You're not going to get that from either parent. Because somatic is just a point mutation. It's going to affect the individual potentially, but not any of their offspring. The mutation in the germ line is what's going to affect the offspring here. It's important just to make note of that. Types of mutations, again, mutations are caused two ways. Errors in DNA replication by mispairing a base by DNA polymerase. Again, we could have uh, A and T bind together, uh, but here we have a T binding to a G, and that's causing a mutation that occurs. Or mutagens. These are antigens that can damage uh, DNA. That can occur from uh, UVB light here. We see ultraviolet light. Sun rays have a lot of this. Uh, that can cause these types of mutations that can cause these errors in the sequences in the DNA. The sequence of DNA can be altered in one of two main ways. First one is point mutations. This is an alteration one or a few bases. Uh, base substitution, insertion, or deletion. So here we have no mutations, be the normal. DNA level will be TTC. A silent mutation is a mutation that still occurs from TTC, but from TTT that does change the mRNA level, but because of the redundancies that occur, the protein level is not changed. This is why it's called a silent mutation. There's also nonsense mutations, where TTC now turns into ATC. This should change the mRNA level, and this causes a stop codon. This is going to truncate or reduce the length of the amino acid sequence that will probably make the protein non-functional. Then there's missense. We have conservative and non-conservative. Uh, TCC, we're noticing from our, TT, from our TTC, and we're having a change in the protein level. Now, here we're having this protein, while it's different, or this amino acid, I should say, while it's different, has similar properties to the original one. A non-conservative here has a very different amount of properties and interactions. So this is more likely to have a negative impact than a conservative mutation. However, this is the normal, I mean, this is what the cell wants. Realize that there are things that can occur, point mutations, that may cause... Uh, basically no visible change or no change in the amino acid sequence. Others can cause a change. And ultimately, a, if a stop codon is encoded for, that can really cause a small protein uh, to form and it will probably not be able to produce its function. There's also a frame shift mutation. These are insertions or deletions that throw off the reading frame. Meaning, re remember our codons. And normally we read in our three codon sequences, our three nucleotide sequences, and they go right along. However, a frame shift occurs. We see lysine, then it should be U, U, U. Here we have U, U, and that U is removed. We have this G coming in. So U, U, G now is encoding for a different amino acid, which is truncating our protein because now a stop codon is reached. So this U, A, G is a stop codon. We see up here, U, A, G is up here also. But because we're reading in these distinctive three portion codons, it's not read as UAG as it's pictured here. It's, it's read as AUA, and then GUG, and then CCG. 
So it's very important these frame shifts can really cause negative effects. It's because we're reading in those three codon sequences. So by removing one, we've completely frame shift everything that follows down the line. Two other ones, uh, transpose vision, or moving the genes from one part of the genome to another, which is what this is trying to show here. Splicing it out, put it in here. This can occur both in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Chromosomal rearrangements or translocations, as the name implies. We have translocated, translocated the genes. And it's changed in the position and or the number of segments in a chromosome in eukaryotes. So here we have a chromosome 4 and a chromosome 20. Well, we're cutting off a piece of chromosome 20, we're putting it in chromosome 4, we're chopping this piece of chromosome 4 off and put it in chromosome 20. Essentially, the DNA on the cellular level is all the same, but it's mixed up now. And there's a reason why we have chromosome 4 and chromosome 20 and the genes that encode for that. The cell's going to go looking for those particular proteins in those chromosomes, and now that they've been moved, that's going to cause negative effects to occur. Types of mutations, a deletion, as it, said, as it would imply, that is simply the loss of a portion of chromosome indicated here. We just lost it. Duplication, an extra copy of part of the chromosome. We're just duplicating it. We have two copies now instead of just one like we should have. Inversions is reverse direction. So we're taking our um, DNA sequence and reversing it, flipping it over. That's going to cause some negative effects. Insertion, that's what we just talked about. Additional portion of a chromosome is attached to another. And then translocation, part of one chromosome attaches to another. So insertion, we're just inserting something where it shouldn't belong. Translocation, we're moving it to different genes. How this may look, if this is the reference sequence, looking at this very specific region right here, it should read A, B, C, D. Very common. If a deletion would look like A, C, D, we're missing the B. Inversion of the B sequence, which goes A, C, B, D. So we notice that the B and the C is inverted. Here's a duplication, A, B, B, C, D, two Bs, and multiple copies, A, B, C, B, C, B, C, B, D, um, causing all sorts of weird mutations, all different than the re reference sequence here, and all could lead to negative effects by the cell and ultimately the organism. What causes these mutations? There's a whole host of potential reasons, reasons for this. Could be UV radiation, cigarette smoke, could be virus-induced in some cases, um, certain Ingredients and products, x-rays can cause this. So it's not just one source. The main categories are radiation, chemicals, and infectious agents. Mutation smoking and lung cancer. There's a label, again, right on uh, cigarettes here. Uh, agents that cause cancer are called carcinogens. They're typically mutagens. Uh, the hypothesis is that chemicals cause cancer was first um, advanced in the 18th century. Many in investigations since then have determined that chemicals can cause cancer in both animals and humans. The tars and other chemicals in cigarette smoke is a prime example of this. Leading causes of death in 2014 for males and females. We know some very sim uh, similar uh, causes in both males and females. However, heart disease is a little higher in males than it is females. And fervent cancer is also a little higher in males than females. So this gives you an idea that heart disease and cancer a high percentage of the causes of death in 2014. Not to get too morbid, but kind of ranking the top 10 causes of death uh, for 2014 and 2013, uh, we notice here diseases of the heart being number one. Malignant neoplasms, number two. And there's a significant drop-off uh, for number four. Other lower respiratory diseases, accidents here, and so on and so forth. So we could see here heart disease, very common. Uh, most likely cause of death from the 2014 data that I have pulled up here. So hopefully that wasn't too morbid, but it gives you a little bit of background of what mutations are and what negative effects they may occur.